Edge of Sanity is an immersive horror action adventure game that weaves in survival elements, transporting players to the tense atmosphere of Cold War era Alaska. You play as a member of a supply team supporting the workers at a secluded laboratory. One fateful day, the team uncovers a nightmarish reality. Terrifying monsters have taken over the facility, and the scientists have mysteriously disappeared. In the ensuing panic, the protagonist finds himself cut off from his companions and must quickly set up a makeshift camp. With survival on the line, he embarks on a harrowing journey to find the other survivors and unravel the sinister events that have unfolded in the valley, including the fate of the missing scientists and the secrets surrounding the mysterious Thurul Stone. Are you ready to face the terrifying monsters? Tune in to experience this spine-tingling adventure with me, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more chilling content. No shame being on autopilot from time to time. Damn blizzard, I can't see anything. I better turn on the lamp. <laughs> Always watching. Even our little supply outpost in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Finally. Always feels like an eternity. <laughs> That's Alaska for you. Days drag here, even if they're short. Look who's back. Thought you'd be stuck in HQ enjoying central heating. Last I checked, I still work here, old man. Not since a month ago, you don't. They transferred you. Transferred? What are you on about? I finished my run and got back here. I... You could have checked in or at least let me know then. None of the pencil pushers sent me a memo. Uh, maybe they did, but it got lost on the way. You know we're the only damn reliable people out of here. Or they're just too busy babysitting the eggheads. I heard there's issues in one of the labs again. Oh, it never ends. What did they do this time? Like I know. The damn radio's on the fritz. Couldn't make head or tails of it. Something about security breach? Could be just the usual corporate song and dance to prove who's worth keeping on the payroll. Oh, Great. Hope they keep the audit to the offices in HQ. Can't we just work in peace, damn it? Hey, hey, don't jinx it. Well, I better get back to work. And you better get some rest. Your bunk's still free. Well, they never sent me a replacement. Thanks. Let's talk later. A good night's sleep will clear my head.
a dream. What is this place? I don't need a monster shit talking me in my dreams, man. Your delusions will soon end. It is amusing that you think you could best me. Your deceptions only work on yourself. You think yourself so clever, yet every time your scheming is for naught. Hide, if you like. But in the end, your role is to serve as my prey. Brother. I think you got the wrong guy. Oh, pathetic. Your deflections, your distractions won't protect you for much longer. Don't you feel your hunter's breath on your neck? What are you on about? Enough. Time to wake up. <laughs> out again. Of course it is. I better check the fuse box. Oh, Frank's gone. Wonder what he's up to. This radio is an old piece of junk. Frequency's way out of sync and needs tuning. Might as well do it now. Then check in with HQ about the blizzard and report our electrical problem. point. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. There's been a security breach at the main site. What the hell? 
The security codes reset to 172. I repeat, the security to 172. Sweet mother of Jesus, this ain't good. Someone there? I need help. Oh, thank God it's you. Well, obviously. You expecting someone else? I thought I saw. Ah, never mind. My legs messed up. I'm gonna need some help. You'll have to guide me through it. You're the better man. Uh, got some alcohol, so if you get some local herbs, we could improvise a med kit. I'll see what I can do. Great, that should help. Give me a moment and I'm good to go. Remember the old camp nearby? Should be good enough to rest for the night. I still need to do some things in the camp. Weather's gonna shift soon. We can't stay here, but we won't get far without supplies. Got a research camp close by. We might scram some supplies there and try to contact HQ. Bring back anything useful, but be careful. I marked the location of the research site on the map. 
All right. I'll be back as soon as I can. Jeez, shut up! Looks like they left in a hurry. Looks like they left in a hurry. Was that? Lock down the door.
can't see anything here. Point. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not... Hmm. An automated message. Figures. If corporate had their way, they'd replace all of us with machines. Hey, is anyone on this frequency? Please respond. This frequency is reserved for PRISM employees. Vacate the channel if you are not associated with PRISM. Oh, finally, a human. Listen, I'm with PRISM and I want to report... All employees have been to their designated evacuation points. Additional information will provided as required upon arrival. There's no time for that. The whole place went to hell. Just run! The boss! That stone! That stone! Listen to me. We can't get to our damn evacuation point. Our oh, useless, cheap trash. It just cut off. I guess we're on... of use here. Now what good is a resupply outpost if PRISM doesn't resupply it?
Wars came from way beyond the camp, though. Well, now I have to find another way out. This leads back to camp, but I should check if the mine entrance is closed off.
me, you little creeps. Oh, tunnel's closed off, but I can try the door over there. Subject 56, Batch D. Third administration rejected, further procedures canceled. Monsters. The monsters! They chained me, and they gave me strange things to drink! Then they blinded me with lights and poked me with needles over and over and over again! Seems we're talking about different kinds of monsters. What does it matter? You gotta help me. You gotta get me out of here! The key is by the table. I don't want to die in here. The monsters will come back and then... Please, please, don't let them hurt me again. I, I won't leave you here. Give me a moment. Yes, hold tight. Oh, poor bastard. Wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. What have these people done to him? Oh, better leave. Nothing but dread here. look around. Didn't get far because of the damn leg. But I found some other people's tracks. They might still be in the area. If you rescue them, we can help each other. People gotta stick together. We could set out on our own now. But if we leave them behind, it might be more difficult for us down the road. Besides, I'm not comfortable leaving others behind. Are you? I'll look for them. This mine is infested with these nasty creatures.
knife will be useful for sure. someone from the rescue team. I need my documents. As per regulations, rescue includes recovery of items critical to corporate operations as well. And these are critical. Essential, even. I think I dropped them somewhere on the third level when I was running from monsters. Wait, sorry. Look, lady, we gotta get out of here. I'll try to get them. No promises, though. Thank you. I thought I'd freeze to death out here. Let's get out of here. It's a ruin, but it'll do for a while, if we prop it up a little. The water station is crucial for our survival. Now that we have more hands to do the work, go ahead and assign our new companion to repair it. Here, there was some wood scattered in the camp. Make use of it. This is going to be a PR disaster. And I'm sure the blame will be on HR, as per usual. Sure, sounds like a big problem. You deal with that. Meanwhile, I'll take care of the trivial stuff. Like our continued survival. What's that?
Field Lab 1. Huh. It's my first time here. Looks like they left in a hurry. Damn, freaks got a bite out of me. Please help me up. I think I can walk. You better. Because I'm not carrying you. No, no, that doesn't make sense. No, no, that doesn't make sense. Our new companion is hurt. Suppose they're lucky enough being alive, but I was hoping we wouldn't have to use our meager stash so soon. Here, take it and use it to heal our companion's wounds. Our group is growing. Got us quite a few new mouths to feed. Don't forget to tell someone to repair the food station as soon as you can. Did you see those monsters? Do you think it was the commies? That's above my pay grade. I see a monster, I kill it, no matter who sent it. Wealthy, powerful people. Sounds shady to me. Besides, we all want to survive. That's all I'm gonna say. Get us both out of here, and I'll make you a rich man. Shh, don't disturb me. I'm taking notes. Once we're back, I want to present our findings to CEO Campbell in person.
Well, that doesn't seem normal. Its skin is all burned up. Native camp. There might be something useful here. Who set this up?
looks like I'm too late. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, let's go. Well, you did your best. Can't save them all, sadly. That's the reality of the situation. And the weather's getting worse. So it's unlikely anyone else survived in this area. If we stay here much longer, we risk getting stranded. So let's head out as soon as you find enough supplies. can call me Fierce Claw. Oh, you're native, right? I've seen your totems around, but never seen any people or towns. You must live pretty secluded. We are not easy to track, unless we want to be. And we do not tend to stay in one place for long. Well, it's not exactly a good time to return right now. Why are you still here? I'm tracking the one born of the beast. The beast has awakened. In its stirring, many of its lesser minions now corrupt the land as well. Perhaps we could help each other. I can deal with the creatures. If you could help us find a path to safety, I could help you hunt. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Frank. I was just talking to... Fierce Claw, wait. Eh, don't bother. As if the damn natives would help us. Let me guess. He just left you with some cryptic mumbo jumbo. Instead of providing anything of substance, could have at least parted with some fish jerky, the bastard. Let's head back, okay? Fierce Claw seemed really driven. Whatever's going on, he believes it. Maybe I'll get a chance to talk to him later. The hell, Frank? What are you doing? Doing these backward savages a favor, son. They gotta learn that their superstitions don't help right now. Only ingenuity and technology do. They also look damn upsetting, don't you think? I guess, but you're still hurt. Maybe tone it down a notch and leave the art critique to someone else, all right? I suppose. I'll be right behind you. know how many generations of my people carved those totems? You know I had to do that. You really could have been a bit more careful. It had to look convincing. We've got bigger problems than a few destroyed wards. And with your wanton destruction, they might be bigger than before. They offered powerful protection. I hope you know damn well it was. He mustn't suspect anything. I understand. My task is the hunt. Yours to keep him in the dark. That's Pierce Claw. Wish I knew what they're talking about. Would have expected him to be more upset. And Frank seemed more worried than it. Her 
there for protection. Never found out against what, though. Hmm. They look so strange. Almost alien. Even without Frank's handiwork, they're all twisted and disturbing. Stop looking at them. Their chants are poison. Their murmurs are banishment. I must not be near them. Oh, I had it. Damn, that it hurts. I think I've seen enough. I better go.
That's just what I needed. Paul's acting weird lately. His tracks lead here. He must be sneaking around somewhere nearby. Carter? No, go away. It's all mine. What, you mean the junk? It's not even useful salvage. What do you want with it? Yes, sure, junk. I was just double checking. Better safe than sorry, right, pal? <laughs> uh, but it's all completely useless. Now keep walking. Hey, I have an eye for finding the useful among the useless. You need a hand. No! Stay away, thief! It's mine! <sighs> oh, what the hell was that? Get a grip, man. Uh, I didn't mean to come at you like that, but, but you shouldn't have pushed me. What I'm doing here is none of your goddamn business. Hey, I'm just trying to look out for everyone. You included. Yeah? Well, sure felt more like you were looking to accuse me of something, bozo. Now look, I'm not in the mood for this. It's getting dark, and you gotta get back to camp. Fine. But hands off my junk. Yeah, wouldn't dream of it. Now go. I'll be right behind. Well, look at that. <laughs> so you were hiding something. And it isn't junk after all. see anything here.
The old truck may look rusty and beaten, but the engine and wheels are all you need to get going, right? Well, maybe a few parts more. But for now, let's focus on setting up camp. We have to fix all the stations and see if we can do anything about the truck. At least there's hope of getting out of here. Am I the only one who thinks looking for more people is a bad idea? We should focus on resources. You seem nervous, Paul. You got a problem with having more company? It's not like that. But you must have realized there's not much food and water to go around as it is. And if you ask me, it feels like some ain't exactly modest when taking their share. Also, the more you have to risk your neck out there, the bigger the chance something horrible will follow you to camp. You followed us to camp, didn't you? All I'm saying is, some people don't appreciate you the way I do. We're getting along, right, Carter? But what if the next bozo disagrees with us? It's not worth the risk. You might have a point, but you know what I appreciate? Honesty. I'm not fond of all this secrecy, my friend. I'm not sure if you should be venturing out into the wilderness. It's simply too dangerous. Does the employee's handbook suggest we should wait around and die? Hmm. Just remember that you can't hold the company liable for any injuries you might sustain during activities conducted outside of your contract and job description. There is something deeply wrong with you if you are worrying about that right now.
Finding the other survivors our native visitor mentioned is our best bet right now. With all the supplies from the mines, we'd be set. If they're alive, we can help each other. Worst case, we pry the stuff from their frozen corpses. Good call, Frank. But I won't go out unprepared. We need basic supplies for a proper search. I need to turn on the power first.
Well, you didn't stop the mutation.
Fierce Claw, you're back. I'm still tracking my prey. I found its tracks nearby. Anything I can help with? What do they look like? Uh, the beast spawn has many forms, and the best way to track them is to glimpse into the world where the beast resides. It's not something you should attempt. Your mind is not prepared for this. So why are you here then? Just saying hello. I came to tell you that you should leave. It's not safe to stay here. All of your companions are already gone. Wait, what? All of my... Are you talking about the other prison employees? Do you know which way they went? Last time I saw your companions, they said camp near the old spirits. No, you wouldn't know them. <clears throat> I think it's best if I just show you on your map. of tracks around. Boot prints still fresh. Large group with heavy equipment. Seems like there's no one here. It wouldn't hurt to look around. Empty and torn by the weather. Looks like they left in a hurry. The fire's been dead for a while. Coals are completely gone or cold. Hard to tell if the group that rested here got it going or if the remains are even older. Axe marks on the wood. Probably not caused by a monster, but why bash the crate so badly? Doesn't seem to be taken apart for firewood either. Seems like someone just tested the blade or was really frustrated. That bush over there, something's off about it. The branches seem alive somehow, swollen, twisted, reaching, as if... Oh, I hope it's just the shadows playing tricks on me. Strange. There are no wounds nor claw marks, only a leg injury, probably broken. Didn't die scared, either. It looks more like a mercy kill. Or was he just left behind? Oh, even thinking about it gives me shivers. Well, they're definitely on the move, but I wonder if they have a certain goal or if they're just running away from the horror. We'll take another look around and then it's back to camp. Place gives me the creeps.
hunting cabin. Another one of those tribal shrines. They look a bit unsettling, but I'm weirdly at ease near them.
What's that noise? I hope it's just a raccoon and not a monster. Well, it sounds too sad, too distressed for a monster. A ladder. Just gotta figure out how to get it down. Guess not every place can afford a supply guy like me. Ah, oh, this place hasn't been restocked in ages. Hey, what's that? Something moving in the dark. Come on, get out of there! Show me some neck! Oh, that noise again. Like whimpering. All right, come on out. I won't hurt you. I well, had a boy. You're somewhat mangy, but you don't seem to have any strange growths. Here, show me your collar tag. Max? Ah, <laughs> nice to meet you, Max. Finally, someone's genuinely happy to see me. We'll get along just fine. Monster! Oh, yes, you now. The worm tries to rise from the dirt. The piece tries to be a player. Could I be mistaken? Are you not the vessel of my prey? Mm. Go on then, Carter. He is off balance. We must seize this opportunity. Give it your best shot, asshole. I won't go down as easy as you think. Do tone the bravado down a notch. Don't give in to the same weakness as he does. You're ready to learn more about the beast. Go on then, Hunter. Amuse me with your quaint fireside story. The rules dream came to us from the emptiness between the stars. It snuck past their light and burrowed into our earth. And with the dream came the beast as well. The beast resides within the dream, never fully awake itself. It is always discontent with its shackles. It craves to be part of our waking world reaches out with roots and tendrils, yet everything it touches becomes corrupted, a twisted image of itself. It must never rise. Assuming that is true, how would you stop the beast from awakening, Hunter? Ah. I've given you enough to dwell on for one night. Knowledge of the beast can corrupt the uninitiated as much as its touch. I will take my leave.
Holy moly. For a hot minute, I could have sworn you were one of them monsters. What the hell happened here? Lucky I know the tunnel's like the back of my hand. Otherwise, I'd have ended up like them poor devils, all cut to bloody ribbons and chunks. You look like a man with a plan. We gotta get out of here. I need to let my folks at home know I'm all right. I set up a small camp and could use some hands. You're welcome to join. Hey, Mr. Carter, I heard you're intending to go to them offices. Would you mind me tagging along? Uh, no offense, David, but it's safer here. Why take the risk? My wife, you see. She ain't heard from me in a while. Probably worried sick. Never got a chance to radio her. If you'd allow me to accompany you, I might get the chance to let her know I'm all right. I won't risk your life for a message. It's hard enough without babysitting you. I can't risk any of us dying. Don't you have folks back home, Mr. Carter? Folks missing you? Frankly, none of your business. I'm sorry, David. It's not gonna happen. Every faith, someone in headquarters has already realized something's wrong. Help is on the way. We should stay put. What if they prefer a cover-up and leave us to die? Well, that is absurd. PRISM isn't some haphazard non-profit. We have procedures for anything and everything, and we take good care of all our employees. <sighs> I'd welcome an efficient rescue. But I'm not counting on it. Seen any stones out there? The strange kind? You seem like a smart guy. I hope you're picking them up for me, right? Humor me. Why would you be interested in the, as you call them, stone? They're worth a fortune if you find the right buyer. And you and me, friend? We're lucky. I know just the people to make us rich men. Promising me money won't feed anyone right now. If you want a dream, feel free. I'll keep surviving. What was that?
Oh, looks like the creatures got here before me. Place must be crawling with them. People, no security. Maybe some of them made it out or hunkered down somewhere in the building. The desk is spattered with blood. Must have taken them completely by surprise, just like the rest of us. met him personally, but we all know the faces of Campbell and O'Brien, PRISM's founders. Way to go, brother. Ah. 
locked. That lab may hold some answers to what's going on here. Gotta find a way in. Some old prison correspondence. Make sure you obtain the authority's permission to set up research in the mine. Mark will help you come up with a convincing geological excuse. Throw in something about the benefit to the miner's health as well. Joe. Dear employees, currently our alarm is undergoing maintenance and you might hear it going off throughout the day. There's no need to evacuate. Unless you hear people screaming. Meeting with Diane from accounting at 11 a.m. There's something odd about the money allocated to R&D. The budget and reported expenses don't add up.
there's no doubt monsters got here before me, but almost no bodies. Where is everyone? Must be a way to open this. I've seen movies. Corporate types always have some sort of hidden switch or compartment in their desks. of the stone, the colors lead into each other. I don't understand any of this. Seven subjects, three experiments, three failures. Seven... What the hell? I don't understand. Seven...
out of here. Journalist actually made it all the way up here and started asking questions. We were forthcoming and agreed to answer some of them. If you get in contact with them, avoid any mention of accidents or injuries and refer to the high standards and company regulation. That glass holds up a little longer. I don't want to deal with that horror. Emergency gathering point at the far side of the building. It looks like this was where everyone went when the monsters appeared. So that's where they all ended up, dead and torn to pieces. Tracks in the snow suggest that someone or something dragged several bodies to the lab. Some isolated footprints lead toward HQ. I should resupply and return. Everyone at camp is waiting for news. A secret lab, huh? Huh. That checks out. Every corporation like Prism has some skeletons in the closet. But real life monsters? <laughs> That's something else, man. Well, just like you said. But it's not skeletons, it's monsters. <sighs> this whole mess wouldn't have happened if Edward, <clears throat> CEO Campbell, had more control over the company. But whatever good he's trying to do, Joel, our second CEO, always undermines him. If Prism is going down, it will be entirely Joel's fault. Two CEOs? No wonder the whole organization is a mess. All you need to know is that once we get out of here, we should support Edward's decisions. He's the only one competent and intelligent and knowledgeable enough to lead us. No single man can be that excellent. But for our sake, let's hope you're right. Parts might be in one of the storage rooms. Gotta look around for the key cards. Oh, hi. If you're looking for my supervisor, you're too late. Everyone ran or got eaten by those creatures. Hey there. Nice to see a friendly face for a change. Honestly, I'm just looking for spare parts. You happen to have access to the storage rooms. I might have. Tell you what, let's do a little quid pro quo, as they say. My research is still down there. One part just below. The other at the lowest level. But those creatures... Ugh. 
Anyway, if you get it for me, I'll let you in. I need those parts, so you got yourself a deal. If it's salvage you're after, you could check on Bob. He's the facility clerk, tried to escape through the old tunnels on the opposite side of the mine. He's got an access card on him.
found it. Let me see if everything's accounted for. Oh, right. My access card. Here you go. So, where are you heading? If you need parts, I assume you have a camp? Or even a way out of here? I left trail markers. Look for the blue cloth stripes and you'll find a small camp. Tell them Carter sent you. This must have been Bob.
finding the other survivors our native visitor mentioned is our best bet right now. With all the supplies from the mines, we'd be set. And if they're alive, we can help each other. Worst case, we pry the stuff from their frozen corpses. Don't count yourself out yet, old man. You're doing your part back here. Leave the grump work to me. The beast's throes are getting stronger. The land howls and weeps. You must leave. Believe me, I want to, but it's tough. Can't your people help? We're not picky, we can use anything. Among my people, there are very few who can resist the beast outright. Most of us try to outrun the beast's corruption, just like you. You must leave its shadow. Then they can help. <laughs> Seems like the only way is through. We'd appreciate any help we can get once we catch up. There, there, boy. Here's a treat. David's been wandering off on his own a lot lately. He seems okay enough, but I should check on him. Howdy, Mr. Carter. Don't sneak up on me like that. Startled me a bit there. Sneaking? <laughs> you want to talk? What are you doing all on your own out here? Just needed some time alone. If it's all the same to you, Mr. Carter. No need to stray so far off camp for that. Only place within walking distance with good wood, I'm afraid. Wood? What for? A weapon? A trap? Nothing fancy like that. I wanted to whittle something for my wife. Huh. Man of many talents, I see. So, what are you making? Just a little figurine, that's all. I like working with my hands and it helps me cope. Something I can latch on to. Maybe something she can remember me by if I ain't gonna make it. Well, if it keeps you sane, that's a win in my book. And how's it coming along? Yeah, almost done. Just some final touches to let her personality shine through the wood. Here, take a look. Well, um, it's... Uh, well, I didn't expect you to be that, um, inspired. She's got to be inspired and special. She's a very serene woman, Mr. Carter. And I'd like her peaceful nature reflecting in my work. A pleasant reflection, David. This shall be how the world will see her. Come again? I, I didn't quite catch that. Got lost in thought a bit. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. Never mind. Just be careful. But if it helps you, it's fine. See you back at camp. Carter, you're doing great, pal. But we should focus your scavenging a bit more. I can't understand why you haven't found a single firearm yet. With all the monsters, I'd feel much safer with a good rifle in my hands. Rifles need ammo. And they make noise. I'm honestly glad I haven't found any. Just my luck. Them prism folks look real legitimate. First mining job where my boss cared for OSHA rules. And now we're left hung out to dry. There might be more people stranded like we are. We have to fight for ourselves. There's no point in waiting for a rescue. Damn, my head. Oh, the hell 
all happened. The truck oh, killed all these monsters. The crash didn't do that. You fell unconscious. They thought you were easy prey. I showed them the consequences of their foolish misjudgment. Oh, it's getting worse. Did I just hear voices at a bail? Dead monsters only drawing live ones. <laughs> supplies are gone. Must have been scattered in the crash. So at least some of this stuff must be near. Oh, no wonder I couldn't take that turn. Brakes are busted. Could have just been wear and tear. Our supplies! Wait. Oh, for the love of... It's all fungus infested. I worked my ass off to get those. I risked my life for this shit. Carter? You're alive? Damn, son. You were trapped. We called out and tried to clear the wreckage, but couldn't get to you. You weren't moving and all messed up, so we thought... It's fine. I'm all right. After the crash, the monster started to swarm us. We had to bail and made it to this place. Seemed safe enough. Damn thing lost power right after we got in. And now we're stuck in the elevator. Fire and frying pans, man. Hang in there. I'll find a way to get you out. I need to turn on the power first. Beast tracks, and lots of them.
someone's watching me. The elevator's lever is broken.
I need to turn off the power first. All right, everything should be back up and running. The others can get out now. Someone's talking in there. Could be my companions. Another close shave, but everyone made it out in one piece. If we are where I think we are, there should be a spot where we could set up camp. It's far from perfect, but beggars can't be choosers. The truck's gone, so are the supplies. Anything is an improvement to that. Think that this monster on the road was too convenient? Like someone baited it to kill us? Don't you wonder who did it and who among our <coughs> friends was in on it so we'd have a little accident? 
Someone here doesn't want us to leave. You are correct. Leave it to me, and do not worry about it. In more orderly circumstances, I'd immediately bring this up with management. Driving a truck pending inspection, with unsanctioned third-party replacement parts, and the driver, you, didn't even have the appropriate license. Ugh, I don't even want to know. Let's just get out of here. You could also mention that you wouldn't be alive without the unlicensed driver, but sure, let's go. The world sure likes to kick us when we're down. We're all gonna die down here. Ain't there any justice? And the worst of it all, Prism ain't even gonna tell our folks what happened to us. We're barely even people to them. Whatever happens, David, whatever this hell throws at us, we still got each other. Look at you, resilient little creature. Good boy, as the honorific goes here, yes? I guess this place will do. I didn't want to scare anybody back then, but... Right before the truck went off that road, I saw something in the snow. A monster. The monsters are everywhere. We were lucky they didn't get us right after the crash. This one was different. Human intelligence shone in them eyes. Cruelty like I ain't never seen before. You think it did something to the truck? Slow us down, to enjoy haunting us. Weirder things have happened, man. Let it come. We'll be prepared. Hunters can become hunted. I find it hard to believe that anyone here would have sabotaged the truck, given the monster infestation and all that. On the other hand, 
And I might be wrong here, but... You clearly suspect someone. That native. Fierce Claw. He seems to know a lot about the monsters. And I bet there's more he isn't telling us. Perhaps his people are planning to sacrifice us in a ritual or some bogus thing like that. He comes and goes as he pleases. So we had plenty of opportunity for sabotage. For some reason, nobody was paying attention to him. He's a weird guy, sure. But I honestly think he's trying to help us get through this. I suppose I should keep a close eye on him. You keep doing what you do. I'll holler when I need you or if he's gonna try anything. I've been thinking, once the prison rescue teams find us, perhaps it would be better if we didn't mention how the truck was damaged. It's not really relevant. And it could save a lot of paperwork. Sounds like a breach of your precious company regulations. Why the change of heart? Look, I'm not fond of breaking the rules, but reporting it isn't going to do us any good. You will be blamed for any damages to company property, including employees, as you had no license to drive the truck. And I'll face consequences for not stopping you. No one is going to care that we didn't have a choice. And it's too easy to skew the papers to our disadvantage. Sure, okay. As long as we make sure to keep our stories straight. Good. Any other testimonies can be easily discarded as resulting from the trauma. Isn't it interesting how easily conviction shatters if you are confronted with the rules of your own making? Look, I don't want Prism involved any more than you do, but I'm not stupid. This truck was our ticket to safety. I'm not saying there's a saboteur, but if there is one, you might want to look real close at those who got reasons to stay. All right. And who would want to stay in this hellhole? All I'm saying is that I want to get the hell out of here. The farther away from the monsters and from Prism, the better for me. But others... Think, Carter, think. Who has close ties with the corporation? Who needs to stick around? You got a point. The crash could have killed us all, though, so... Maybe there's even more behind it. David's been wandering off on his own a lot lately. He seems okay enough, but I should check on him. Howdy, Mr. Carter. Don't sneak up on me like that. Startled me a bit there. Sneaking? You want to talk? What are you doing all on your own out here? Just needed some time alone. If it's all the same to you, Mr. Carter. No need to stray so far off camp for that. Only place for them walking distance with good wood, I'm afraid. Wood? What for? A weapon? A trap? Nothing fancy like that. I wanted to whittle something for my wife. Huh. Man of many talents, I see. So, what are you making? Just a little figurine, that's all. I like working with my hands and it helps me cope. Something I can latch on to. Maybe something she can remember me by if I ain't gonna make it. Well, if it keeps you sane, that's a win in my book. And how's it coming along? Yeah, almost done. Just some final touches to let her personality shine through the wood. Here, take a look. Well, um, it's... Uh, well, I didn't expect you to be that, um... Inspired. She's got to be inspired and special. She's a very serene woman, Mr. Carter. And I'd like her peaceful nature reflecting in my work. A pleasant reflection, David. This shall be how the world will see her. Come again? I, I didn't quite catch that. Got lost in thought a bit. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. Never mind. Just be careful. 
but if it helps you, it's fine. See you back at camp. All right, don't be a fool. Your plan is too rash. Think of a better one. We don't have time. This is the best shot we'll get. <sighs> Stubborn as salmon. Fine, here. Take it and make good use of it. Must go. And please, don't be a fool, Frank. What was that about? Huh? Oh, that obnoxious native kept nagging me. Said he could fix my lug. See? Even gave me some nonsense herbal powder instead of real painkillers. Maybe you should just give it a trial, man. Waste of time. I'll have a doctor take a gander when we get back to civilization. What these primitives call medicine is really just a potpourri of superstition and bullshit mysticism. I only took it so he'd finally shut up and leave me alone. Hmm. He's acting all dismissive, but he did pocket that pouch very carefully. Something's not right here. The beast still slumbers. But its tendrils touch far and deep into the land, and what they touch becomes corrupted. Through its minions' eyes, it is watching you, and your companions. So, you think something is controlling them? The beast? That stone, or whatever it is? Not all of them. There's one hunting you. He was once like you, but... He got lost in the beast's dream. Nothing of him is left. He is a mere reflection of the beast's rage. But unlike the lesser minions, he still has his own drive. Watch out for him. His cunning matches yours. Now that's something to chew on. But thanks for the warning.
not the best place for camp. Unless you enjoy fighting off monsters and getting strangled by murder plants. Last notebook. Mostly personal notes detailing the incident at the mine and days spent hiding from monsters. The cloth is torn, but you can still see the prism logo. Another body. Maybe part of this group of survivors. Looks like he was running from something or someone. What's that thing he's holding on to? Looks like part of a totem. Prism employees were here, no doubt. What happened to them? They moved in a rush. Wouldn't even have to be a tracker to figure out they're all leading to that cave. Buddy. 
Maybe part of this group of survivors. Looks like he was running from something or someone. What's that thing he's holding on to? Looks like part of a totem. out. As always, I have to switch it back on to use the elevator.
What an ungodly stench. Hope I don't stumble right into a creature's larder. Prism uniform. Hmm. Not much else left of the poor bastard. Hold on. That's not teeth or claw marks. It's a blade wound. This one got impaled by huge bone spikes. Barbaric. But they're driven right into the rock. No human could have done this. Ugh. The stench is unbearable. Who think I'm gonna throw up? This place, the scent, reminds me of home. So this is how the prism survivors ended up. You can always just give up. Ever thought about that? This is my dream. If you had any power, you'd have used it by now. A vessel aware of the dream. Preposterous. He is a particularly mouthy vessel. But I grew fond of his moxie. I knew it. Have you grown so weak that you let the likes of it overwhelm your presence? You pride yourself with anticipating my every move. Tell me, though, do you know his? It appears you do not. Insolence! This is between us. You would defile the game by verily making pieces, players. No matter. Your humiliation will only be greater when your subterfuge fails. Another human? Here? Are you mocking me? Cease this buffoonery! I am no mere human, Cosmos Spawn. I am your new master. All realities shall bow to me! Ridiculous. I have a hunt to conduct. I know that voice. Silence, Carter. I did not foresee this. Don't call attention to us right now. Let my adversary be distracted by the interloper. And wake up. Are you starting to understand the influence of the beast now? The gashes of pain and corruption torn by its presence into plants and wildlife. You see the scars, the scabs from these wounds. But do some of its influence is more subtle, hidden, like concealed roots of a strangling weed suffocating the healthy crop. Are you saying there's something in the air influencing our minds? The power of the stone reaches into the spirit, turns it into something twisted, seducing and corrupting the strong and weak alike in different ways. You have to listen within to find how savagely the beast has already clawed at your spirit. Uh, look, man, not to be ungrateful, but I can take care of real wounds. I have no idea how to deal with souls. Prayer seems to be struggling lately. Never struck me as the outdoorsy type, to be fair. Maybe she came here to have a semblance of normality. And for her, that's a prism office, I guess. 
This is not what I expected. What is this place, Claire? Oh, it's a PRISM-sanctioned special facility. We affectionately called it the Break Room. So far away from the main offices? Why? The procedures work best in a secluded location. Would you mind turning the projector on? It'll all make sense. Ah, break. I see what you did there. It's wonderful, isn't it? I used to come here whenever I had a free moment. Even now, in this sorry state, it gives me a sense of serenity and reminds me of everything I owe the company. I'm glad I came here. The comfort of just sitting down and watching the reel provides the strength to face this crisis. Jesus, Claire, that's disturbing. Prism really got a hold on you. Nobody should be chained down like that. It's just a job. Just a job? Oh, Carter. Prism is order, and obedience is the foundation of order. Just look outside and see for yourself what happens without order. Do you need to watch the reel again? Ah, oh, no, I'm good. If you're done getting your reel kick, let's head back to camp. These methods are inelegant. Blunt instruments for blunt minds. I thought her devotion ran deep. Yet, it is a simple, flimsy layer. Easy to break again. Easy to put back together. This path should lead me straight to the gas station. stack of numbered signs. Zero, two, and nine have marks on them. that.
dead. She doesn't look like a hunter or a tourist, so she's likely prison. Perhaps she was trying to evacuate and got lost. Huh. She's been stabbed. The knife is still stuck. Strange. No reason to leave a good blade. Waste not, want not.
Even the plants turn predatory. It's as if they learned that this is a place people will be drawn to. If I want to search it, I need to find another way in. There's got to be another entrance. Maybe through here. No, don't come any closer. No, help. Relax, I won't hurt you. What are you on about? What happened? That dude, the guide, he said he would lead us to safety. But then Bernie broke his leg. And that, that lunatic said we had to leave him behind. But Laura disagreed and, and he, oh God, oh no, oh no. But, but he said he would protect us from monsters, so we followed him. But what happened? Are you the only one who made it? He turned. Came like those things. Jesus. He butchered all of them. I, I hid. He left. I think. But what if he comes back? I gotta get away from here. Poor guy. Whatever horrors he saw, they broke him. My adversary is mocking me. He must not be taking me seriously if he wastes time with petty indulgences. Prism Headquarters is in arm's reach. Instead of wasting time stockpiling or repairing old junk, you should just go there as soon as possible. It's called preparation, lady. It's what's kept us alive so far. Joel! Yes! He has always been jealous of Edward's countless achievements, his, his money, his class, his charm, everything. He would be so petty as to slander a real man, a good man, with his last breath. And what's the other guy's role in this? Joel. Oh, please. You've obviously never met the man. Joel is a greedy worm. A phony lacking any vision or competence to lead Prism out of a crisis. You'll see for yourself when you finally get going. If you hurry, we could be rescued before nightfall. All right, I'll see for myself. After I'm done preparing. Damn, you've got us far, son. Not gonna lie, we wouldn't have made it without you. You ready for one last push? Let HQ know we're still alive and need help? Thanks, but let's pat ourselves on the back when we're home safe, okay? Dad? Just stay sharp out there. There's more creatures here than anywhere we've been before. Best case, HQ and security held out and called in the cavalry. If that doesn't pan out, well, I say we get drunk, because I'm all out of ideas. We'll get blind drunk either way, man. Count on me. We worshipped at the rule stone, and appeased the beast within for many seasons. Many generations long before the people of Prism came to these lands. As the beast slumbered, 
the nature thrive. And only now and then, when the beast stirred, would it affect the waking world. But your people in white coats woke it up. And now it claws at reality, opening festering wounds and corrupting everything in its shadow. So Prism stole the stone, and that's why we're in this mess. One stone? There are as many as stars, Carter. Shattered pieces lie everywhere, some deep within the Earth's embrace, small and big, well hidden, but sometimes in plain sight. After the ground shook with strength and anger, the people of Prism found a big shard of the rule stone, and they took it. Now the beast is shaking off its slumber and dreams of others in its image. I think I understand. Is there a way to put the beast back to sleep? Our greatest hope is to prevent it from fully awakening. How exactly that happens is out of my control. Guess it's never been this bad, huh? We just have to figure it out as we go. Monster goop and creature carcasses. HQ security seems to have kept them at bay. Maybe they retreated further into the complex. Where could they be? If anyone's still alive, they would have probably retreated to the upper floors. Now I gotta find a safe way up there. I need to turn on the power first.
respond and stuck in the basement. There are strange here. I read you. What's your situation? And stuck in the basement. There are strange here. They killed. I Damn. It's probably too late. Seems to be crawling with monsters below. Gotta be careful if I don't want to end up the same way. get used to this but taking from the dead to help the living well, it needs to be done and I need that access card Okay, one more key.
Looks like an upper management office. If I find information anywhere, it's here. Someone in management must have known what's really going on. There's a crumpled piece of paper in the trash. A note addressed to Joel O'Brien. I will not repeat myself again, Joel. We are not signing a military contract. They'll just take the Chaos Stone or send their brass to breathe down our necks. Either way, we would forfeit our freedom of research and control over what we do with the results. That is unacceptable. Are you a real human? With, with the company? <laughs> Please, tell me you're with the government or <coughs> military. <coughs> Name's Carter. Don't mean to disappoint, sir, but I'm just a supply runner for prison. Are you O'Brien? Do you know what the hell is going on here? <laughs> uh, I'm not going anywhere, and I can't promise I'll make it to the end of my story, but... Be my guest, Mr. Carter. I was unlike anything we'd ever seen. Beautiful. Full of potential. <coughs> Otherworldly. Focus, Joel. What made this stone so special? Oh, something that could change the world fell right into our hands. We had no money to fund our research. I got in touch with Ed. A man has more wealth than anyone could ever spend. And he... he too saw the vast potential of the stone. So we created Prism. We worked so hard. So very hard. Yet years went by without tangible results. The current results seem pretty damn tangible to me. You unwittingly opened a door to things you cannot comprehend. I see. <laughs> I remember you now, Carter. Experiment five, seven, uh, what the hell does it matter? You're here. You seem reasonably stable. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if you don't mind, well, let's continue. Edward. Edward, he became obsessed with the stone and its power. He never intended to share it with, with me, with, with the world. Maybe it turned him. Maybe he was always like that. <coughs> never a friend. The stone did this. It's no miracle. It's a curse. Regardless, he did it. He activated the stone without any thought for human or other life. Changes to the environment, the, the monsters, all of it. I didn't want any of this. I tried. I tried. Now Ed and his bullshit cult lock themselves in the lab and will doom us all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't stop them. I should have known. I should have. Joel. Joel. Do you hear that? It's like something... Not you, fool. And it is not merely a call. 
Someone wants to subdue me. Leralo Otsrol, Magokaya Yanaga. I don't know what that means. Nifa! What? An ordinary human? Wait. I remember you. Test subject three, five, something, something. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps you are more than meets the eye. Lilrulo. Your command of the language is lacking. Try practicing on the lesser creatures. The ones that crawl on the floor as befits your own station. No! My incantations are perfect! Lirulurotsurol! Magokayan! <laughs> Pathetic. Such arrogance! Such insolence! Thurl commands even you! And I shall wield Thurl's powers! Gloat while you still can, creature of the abyss! For in the end, all shall be chained to Thurl's will, and thus mine! I feel no shame to admit that our kind is indeed prone to arrogance. But you creatures, you really think you are the first to attempt this? Or, indeed, so special and gifted to succeed where countless have failed over eons. And you think you're different? Yes, Carter. I have endured failure and humiliation. I have learned from it that both this human and our adversary still share the same kind of hubris will work to our advantage. You saying they're all dead? If even the headquarters ain't safe, how can we possibly make it to safety with all them creatures harassing us? Chin up, David. We made it this far, and you've got your wife waiting. You can't give up now. You're right, Mr. Carter. I have to pull myself together for y'all and for her. The recent events, they've been hard on me. And that weight on my shoulders was a bit much. I'ma hang in there and get it done. Take it easy. Everyone does what they can. No, no. David, what's wrong? Talk to me. It's... it's nothing. Ever since I got out of the mine, I've been feeling this strange presence in my head. Like the devil, whispering and whispering. Makes it difficult to focus sometimes. This place must be getting to me. Smart doctors call it traumatic stress or something. Look, we all have our nightmares, but if you feel it's getting too serious, let me know. I... I can't believe it. Edward cannot be the head of some ludicrous cult. It goes against everything he stands for. Everything I thought I knew about him. There's always something you don't know about others. And power imbalance does the rest. Hard to know someone when you're not on the same level. Joel! Yes! He has always been jealous of Edward's countless achievements. His, his money, his class, his charm. Everything. He would be so petty as to slander a real man, a good man, with his last breath. If Edward has anything to do with the cult, he's surely their victim. His good nature and benevolence are easy to take advantage of. With everything that's going on, it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. We shouldn't be too quick with conclusions or accusations. Everything we've been through makes you think, doesn't it? How the choices we make lead us to the weirdest places. 
And sometimes you stand at the crossroads and are forced to choose between two rough tracks. And once you take the first step, there's no turning back. Then you ponder and doubt yourself. You ever been in love, Carter? Thanks, but let's pat ourselves on the back when we're home safe, okay, Dad? Just stay sharp out there. There's more creatures here than anywhere we've been before. Best case, HQ and security held out and called in the cavalry. If that doesn't pan out, well, I say we get drunk, because I'm all out of ideas. We'll get blind drunk either way, man. Count on me. Well, that's it for Prism. One CEO dead, the other gone crazy. That's a big load of problems off our backs. No reason to be so cheerful about it, Paul. Solve some of your problems. Created dozens more for me. Look, let me be honest with you. Prism's just another carcass lying around here. And soon the scavengers will swoop in. Other corporations gonna want a piece of it, but military and government got dips. So why not help those poor companies and turn a tidy profit while we're at it? A greedy mind is such a winding path with a simple goal. Your thirst for profit will be your undoing. And then, another's game. The trees tell me many stories. I prefer to listen to them while they're still alive. But others, like the stories inked as symbols on their papery remains. Some contain wisdom, some contain history. And while every story is worthwhile, <laughs> not listening to the living things around us will always be alien to me. But. One of your people's writings surprised me. Just summarize it for me. It was written by a man from the island of Road. The way he tells stories, he must have felt the touch of the beast. It seemed to me that... He dreamed the same dreams the beast shares with us. He spoke of creatures, undying, dreaming in fathomless cities and between the stars, terrible in their might. Much like the beast of our land, you have to listen within to find how savagely the beast has already clawed at your spirit. Are you telling me there is more than one beast? More of this horror everywhere? I have no doubt that someone in prison knows what's going on here. And I'd bet my bottom dollar it's the scientists. Pencil pushers rarely have a clue what's really behind their reports and numbers. So the corporate labs might be my best chance of finding someone who can help us. of all this madness. And by the looks of it, the worst mutants and monsters come from here, or are drawn here.
Yeah, I get it. You're an alarm. Shut up already. Written draft for an announcement. It says, For the last time, everyone, it's not the Stone or Chaos Stone. The proper name is Thuru Stone. Let's be professional about our research and use correct terms. is connected to the security desk system. Access card accepted. Unlocking door to section one. Door unlocked. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. A 
restrained man. Can't tell if he's dead or alive. I could open the door and check. Whoa. There's something slithering out of his head. some walls nearby. Holy... The body is still breathing, but... Cracked open skull is telling a different story. you. Only the devoted may walk here. I am looking for answers, just like you. So you've joined the ranks of the Ascended as well? If you are a neophyte, it is probably too late. Our supreme leader is preparing the final ritual at this very moment, and only the most ardent of faith may be in his presence. does he want to achieve? Why does he think he commands such power? Our, our Supreme Leader is going to awaken the power of the Chaos Stone. May he bask eternally in its glory. Humankind will emerge changed, awakened. Where? Tell me, minion, now. Th there are leaflets. We, we ran out, but there should be some left. I gotta go now. I feel... watched. I mean, I'm being summoned. What? what wait!
What the hell? Why am I rigged up in there? Or does it just look like me? I've been here before, but it seems all wrong. It's like in my dreams. But something is here with me. Something. <laughs> safe now. Must be the place, but it looks abandoned. What happened here? Where is everyone? A man twisted by the beast's touch. I was hunting for one. Frank suspected there would be two. I came to realize he was right. And you think I'm the other one? You aren't the one I set out to hunt. You might not feel it yet, but you are the same threat. You bring darkness from the beast's dream. A dark... I have faced greater hunters than you. Your time has come.
be honest, I can hardly believe we survived for this long. Of course, you did a satisfying job, and all that without following any procedures or regulations. I just didn't expect anyone could survive such wild and dangerous circumstances. Truth be told, I didn't think I had it in me. You see, after Woodstock, I promised myself I would stay on the straight and narrow and avoid anything crazy. Wait, did you just say Woodstock? You were there? Oh, tell me everything. Well, you know, <laughs> I was younger back then and a little wilder. I was on the East Coast attending college and working, and I wasn't planning on going at first, but my friends convinced me. You only live once, you know? <laughs> so I went. And let's just say it was an unforgettable experience. Oh, I would have loved to be there. The music, the atmosphere, everything. Must have been pretty exciting and inspiring. Um, no. It was filthy, chaotic, and full of losers with no sense of purpose in life. And it made me realize I needed to work harder and devote myself to becoming someone. Not them. I wasn't serious about college. And I wasn't saving money for the future. But the experience made me focus on what's important. So you could say that Woodstock indeed inspired me to turn my life around and become a competent and independent woman whose expertise is highly valued at PRISM. That's not where I thought this was going, but it explains a lot. My father owned a small leather tanning business. But first and foremost, he was a hunter. Went out a lot, tracking game, setting traps. Honestly, lots of overlap with what you're doing, Mr. Carter. Took me with him from time to time when I was still a little cub. Did you enjoy it? Must have been some extra work for your dad to have you tag along. Not as much as you'd think. My dad was a loner, apart from family. Whenever we went out, no one was minding the shop. We were barely scraping by. Never employed anyone, no having business with the other hunters, but still carrying all of it on his own shoulders. Had a thick skull, my dad. Not thick enough for a bear's claw, though. One of those got him right in the noggin one day. Oh, damn, David. That's rough. Uh, been a long time. No worries. Told me that self-reliance ain't everything. Mining is dangerous business, but you're never all alone. Always got a shoulder to lean on and a team to share the load. There's this tune saying mine is like digging ore from the bottom of your grave. All I want to say is, I'm glad I don't have to go through this alone, Mr. Carter. Thanks for sharing, man. Glad you're still with us. Carter, I told you I consider you a smart guy. Sharing wisdom is something we ought to put on the back burner, so here's a last nugget for you. Well, it's not like I could ever stop you before. Go right ahead. Falling up the ladder of prison, you know what I realized? Nobody's in it for the company, the image, or even the messed up research. Everyone's in it for the money. For themselves. Commies. Capitalists. You think there's a difference? You want to know how many people I've done deals with who were sharks like myself? And we all got out on top. Ideologies and allegiances mean nothing. Just make sure you walk away a winner. Sounds pretty risky. How did you pull it off? Let them underestimate you. Look at me, man. I know what you're thinking. Last guy thought so too. It's easy once they think they're in control, or they have you hooked into their schemes. Competition is always fierce. Capitalists, commies, corporations, governments. They all want the good stuff. The juicy bits of information. And I provided all of them with all of that. Small bites. Lots of words for describing something between a mercenary and a thief. Guilty as charged if you want to say I just used my wits. If those bozos want to pretend they're too good to make a buck because they believe in five-year plans or a rigged meritocracy, sure. Makes it easier for me. That's the beauty of it all. There's the suckers, and 
as people like us. When you say us, you actually mean yourself. Give it your best shot. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Ah, oh, not a care in the world. Wish I could go back to that blessed ignorance. All right, buddy. Let's play and have some fun. Forget about the bleakness for a moment. This place isn't right. Distance. What language is that?
I know they're out to get me. Behold! Bask in the cosmic radiance of the Thural Stone! With its power, I will change the world, put an end to the Cold War, and bring enlightenment, order, and prosperity! If all that death, destruction, and madness is your idea of prosperity, I'd rather put an axe in your head. I have seen warlocks with more foresight and mental fortitude fail. Carter thought you would be a true danger, but you are more of a puppet than he ever was. Mind your place, Abomination. You are nothing but a byproduct of the grand design I am weaving. You are prey that deluded itself into thinking it's a hunter. All the more embarrassing for you when that byproduct takes you down, you bastard. Pray, maybe, but I can fight back. You are nothing but a prepared meal, ready to be devoured. And you even revel in it. I must admit, you, aberration, are truly an agent of chaos. I did not expect that your little game would interfere with my ascension. So be it then. You could have submitted, become a part of something greater. But you chose oblivion. I agree. Mugokai Ayath. Yes. Thurl's power courses through me. It is beautiful. The radiance of a thousand stars! Unlimited! What? No! Impossible! Y you cannot do that! I, I command you! I am your master! Damn. Psyched myself up for nothing. Good riddance, Edward. Don't let your god down, fool. Can't you feel it? This is not over.
its eyes watching me. There's so many.
the line once again. The hunter meets the hunted. Laid to claw. Ensnared and tracked down. No, my old enemy. This is always the part I enjoy the most. I have the strangest feeling. Like I know you. And I should hate you. <laughs> Poor vessel. Of course you don't understand. These feelings are not yours. And you will soon fade. I'm surprised it has any voice of its own left. Are you really that weak? So eagerly committed to our grand game that you still let it speak. Who do you really talk to then, monster? Where is your flock, Shepard? They are an integral part of our dance, are they not? Is your only weapon against me petty defiance of decorum? I will rend and tear their flesh either way, and you know it. You cannot defy me. My companions? I'd never let you hurt them. Companions? Is that what the vessel calls them? Grotesque. They are pawns. Sacrifices. And yet you are still hiding behind this dull puppet. Its ceaseless prattling begins to annoy me. Consume it finally and face your fate. I... Silence! Show yourself. Speak to your better when he demands it. Do you find this amusing? Very much so. I savor every moment of your impotent rage and petulant whining while you fail to grasp the obvious. My perfect blending with this vessel revealed to me that these creatures are not irrelevant, not disposable. They are fine tools to be maintained and cherished. This knowledge and the power that comes with it will be your end. Desperation makes you pathetic. It suits you. Then show me your power. Come and be annihilated. Humiliate it once more. Before we fall to the sleepless dream again. One in gleeful triumph. And whatever it is you, the loser, will experience. <laughs>